All right, Joellen. Fall is coming. Yes. Okay. We want fall color in our gardens. So where should we start? Well, the first thing you think of in fall is mums or yes. chrysanthemums. Okay. And they're going to be the first for sale. Starting in September, they'll be for sale. And they'll go be for sale clear through till November. Now, you might think that they bloom that long, but mm. they really don't bloom that long. Right. They, they are early, mid, and late blooming mums. And there are many colors and many varieties. So if you want a yellow one, there's an early, a mid, and a late blooming yellow okay. mum that you can go find. And you're going to want to, you know, pick them, and they're going to be root bound. So mm -hmm. you're either going to have to transplant them into another container, or you're going to have to water them more often. Because if they're in full bloom, you're going to want to make sure they have plenty of water so they can support all those blooms. Okay. And they're going to be readily available at all your big garden centers. Everywhere. I mean, that's the first thing you see will everywhere. be the moms. They're all they're over be, the place. They will be everywhere. And they're beautiful. I love the colors. They are. They are pretty, and they do like to be well drained, though. Okay. Just be careful with that. Okay. Uh, uh, they are. They don't tend to be so perennial as a lot of the mums normally. You would think being perennial. Okay. You, if you want a perennial mum, you have to specifically ask for a perennial mum because okay. that's going to be different from ones that you see all over town. Now, some people will say, "Oh, well, but mine come back." Well, they have found the exact place for that one. <laughs> okay. It's well drained and it didn't get too cold and it just loves it there and it's going to stay and that's great. Good. Now, look, you can't talk fall without talking about pansies. One, one of my favorites, I, I'm, I'm now thinking about, you know, the pansies I'm going to put in my flower beds for the fall. So tell us a little bit about pansies. Pansies uh, are the best, best blooming plant oh, for yeah. the fall into the winter mm -hmm. and into the spring. It will last that long, and it takes the cold weather that we have here. Uh, in fact, sometimes it'll take even snow, mm -hmm. and you, you'll mm -hmm. see them still blooming with it snowing. Right. And uh, there are different kinds of pansies. There are some with faces mm -hmm. and some that are called clear. And the ones with faces are usually the pansies that have the little dark center in the middle that kind of looks like a face, and that's why they are called faces. Okay. And there's a lot of good varieties of those out there. Um, there. You want to look for the series that does well in this area called Delta and Colossus mm -hmm. and Majestic Giant, the Giant series. Okay. Um, the clear ones, they don't have faces, but they give you really clear colors, uh, uh, beautiful, some beautiful, gorgeous blues and oranges and yellows. And those are crown and delta series okay. mums, that, I mean pansies, that do very, very well here. Okay. How do we need to prepare our soils, you know, for the pansies? Good question. You know, you, I know that the summer color might last clear till it frosts. Well, you might want to go ahead and pull it out and plant your pansies in the early part of October. Mm -hmm. That way, it, it's warm, but there's cool nights, and that is perfect pansy growing weather. Okay. And they like it that way. So you'll get a bigger and more beautiful plant before the cold weather gets here. Okay. And you're going to want it in a nice, loose soil. They like to be well drained. Well drained. Just like the mums, <laughs> they like to be well drained. Also, you've got to watch, pansies are really particular about the crown of their plant, which is near the surface of the soil. So really okay. try to get the same level that the plug or the, the plant is in the container the same height in the ground. Don't cover more soil right. up over the top of right. it because you will bury the crown and then they will rot and die. So just keep the, the soil level the same, put a little bit of mulch on them, a little bit of fertilizer if you want to incorporate now, What some. kind of fertilizer? Let's talk yeah, about that. Th there's all kinds of fertilizer okay. you can use. Okay. And or if you have a compost pile and have some nice organic compost to add to them, that will be a nice slow release fertilizer for them to last yeah. for a long time. And if you don't have that, any kind of slow release fertilizer would be good to add simply because it will feed them for a long period of time because they are in the ground for a long period sure, of time. Sure. All right, so what about violas? Um, if you have, now pansies like sun, okay. just like yeah. the mums okay. like sun, okay. they like right. sun. All right. But what if you don't have as sunny a site? You know, I, trees lose their leaves, yes. Yes. And they create more sun for you. But what about a house? It doesn't move. And even though the sun has different angles in the wintertime, you still might have a shady area. Try violas. Okay. Violas seem to do a lot better in the shady situation. Even though they do like sun, but they do better in shady okay. situations too. 
And some good varieties for those are the sorbets and the pennies. Okay. They do very well in this area. Okay, well good. While we have a little time left, what about some other flowers that we can incorporate in the beds with our pansies and violas? Yeah, to give a little more interest, yeah. mm -hmm. we have a lot of things like Dusty Miller, great foliage like plant. Yeah. And not only does it last, but you can leave it all summer long the next summer and just plant other plants around it. Dusty Miller's it lasts a very long time okay. in the containers and in the ground with your pansies. Then there's also dianthus and snapdragons and ornamental cabbage mm -hmm. and kale. Mm -hmm. And they all do very well here in this area. Uh, now the dianthus and the snapdragons might not bloom when it gets really, really cold, but they'll stay green if they don't, if they're well drained and they don't rot in the ground. That's the worst problem with the snapdragons is they, okay. it's not the cold that gets them, it's that it's too wet of soil. Okay. And that's what they don't like. Okay. And the ornamental cabbage does well too. Okay. Now do they all like the full sun as well? They all like full sun and uh, well-drained soils. Well-drained soils. And okay. that's kind of, you know, winter is our wet season. Yeah. So we get a lot of rain and we get a lot of uh, snow cover and, and you know, if we does get to snow. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, it just stays wet a lot, right. and so that's why it's important to have it well drained, because okay. then everything will be happy and live and do well for everyone. All right, Joellen, we appreciate the information. We can't wait for those beautiful fall colors. Thank you.